Hello guys, welcome to another video. I didn't make any modern videos very long time. I was actually busy with making watches and today I decided to show you one kind of, kind of, I would call it complicated or mm, let's call it more advanced mode than usually. So the one I'm gonna attempt to do, you're gonna see right now in the screen and I'll be using all these parts. So basically changing the dial, then using these hands, but we're gonna paint it too. I'm gonna show you a bit later, it's pretty interesting. Changing the day and the date disc and then apply the Cyclop. I haven't done it before, I will, I will try to do it first time ever. I hope it's gonna turn out good. Well, that's gonna be probably the last step. So right now let's start with the dial and hands. So I'll be skipping some parts. Okay, so for this mod I'm gonna be using Heimdallr. In my opinion this is the best option, the best monster homage available out there for the good price. Okay, so this is the first stage. We're gonna swap, swap this date and the date wheels. The way I do it. So first, you have to remove this this tiny thing that holding the day wheel like that. So you can see it's very very tiny. And what you have to do from this side, use some flat screwdriver and just try to lift it up a little bit. Then one side will be lifted, and you can easily remove it after. Just like that. And it's done. Be careful, put it somewhere so you don't don't lose it. Just like that. For removing the date wheel, we have to unscrew these four, one, two, three, four screws. Yeah. Okay, it's done. I struggle a little bit with it because maybe, maybe my screwdriver a bit too thick, not easy to get it. Just like that. And after you can remove the wheel. Done. Just drop it there. Make sure it sits properly. And only after that you put this back. And before you screw it down tight. I recommend you to recheck if it works. It doesn't want to move. So I will unscrew it again a little bit and try to move the wheel manually. Just like that. So now it sits exactly where it's supposed to sit. Now I can close it. And you can see that this day wheel is kind of special, Roman numbers. Not really, not really easy to find, to be honest. Now we're gonna put this thing back. Done. The last check. Okay, the next stage will be the dial. So get your new dial, the one you want to replace. Get the original one and take a look at the fit position. So for me, I just have to leave the middle one and cut all the rest. For that purpose, I use this nail, nail clippers, very comfortable and easy to do. Then I also like to send some bumps the remainings of the feet by using this stuff just steal it from your wife or your girlfriend clean it one more time and yeah 
Before putting the dowel, make sure this part is very, very clean. Otherwise, you're gonna set the hands, do all the job, and then in the end, you're gonna see some dust in your day window. It's not really nice, and you have to redo it. And it sits perfectly. The window aligned perfectly. I don't need to adjust anymore. However, I can see some, some maybe paint on the dowel. Inside the window, I'm just gonna remove it. Yep. Done. Now it's flat and nice. Okay, now gonna be interesting part. So we put this aside, we don't need it right now. And right now I'm gonna try to paint the hands. Because you can see the original one has, has white hands, but with the red tip on the second hand. And I try painting one, one hand from another set. It turned out pretty good, so I really, really hope that this one will be good too. Otherwise, I, I only have one set, so if I fail this one, I will have to order the new set. Which I don't want to do, but let's see. I actually have one project to show you a bit later. I try to... Try to involve my wife in watch making because she is really good painter so we're gonna try to modify some dowels painted and yeah here i have this some japanese japanese permanent marker red marker with pretty thin tip so i can paint it nicely Probably will just hold like this. As you can see, the color is really bright. I have to fix this hand somehow. Yep. <laughs> this will help. Looks pretty good. I also want to paint it from the side like this. Just to make sure that the hand, that the tip will be red from every side. Perfect. I love it. And by the way, I just bought these tweezers. It costs like under two dollars. And it's so good. It's insanely good. It's so great. It's so easy to operate. I love it. Gonna leave you the link later. Here you go. The result. A uh, little bit of paint went on the loom, as you can see. I actually can try fixing it, but I worry that I'll only make it worse. Yep, it's really hard choice. Yep, so I just got the confirmation that this hand is fine. I'm not gonna redo it. I just painted a little bit more from the sides. So now it looks a little bit better. Yeah, it's not perfect though. But I think this is really good result considering that this hand is super small and the tools I use. Yeah, I already actually prepared some other white markers to paint it inside. But I think it's, it's a good idea to stop right here because I'm really afraid to make it worse. Now, we go to the second stage. Or oh, the third, I already forgot the count. So here we're gonna assemble as normally just go 24 hours. Wait for the date change. Go very slowly at this point. 
very very slowly like very slowly yeah i know you already skipped this moment done so that's midnight i'm gonna install the first our hand I place it a little bit after midnight as you can see I hope it was a right guess so before pressing it all the way down make sure you got it right yep absolutely perfect is it yes good now I'm sure I can press it sometimes new hands are really not easy to set they especially this one when they applied some paint on it it's more tight than usually so what you do is just press and wiggle from side to side left right up down then the hand gonna move lower and sit properly because if you just push without moving then probably you may even damage somehow again it's not easy to check the alignment see from the side but try your best and also check if the hand is leveling right from left to right because sometimes one side gonna be lower yeah it looks good to me let's set the next one so now i point at nine o'clock and the next hand yeah i've seen some comments on youtube recently uh the person asked me which presser should i use should i use the same one for all hands no the answer is no they are a different different diameter slightly different but make sure if you use the same one so you use this dark gray tip for the hour hand and you use the black tip for the minute hand and then for the second hand i use the smallest one here red one yep so the minute hand let's go not too much pressure Check the alignment first. Fingers crossed. Already midnight. Come on, change. Okay, three minutes past midnight. Six o'clock. Perfect. nine o'clock perfect yeah i'm very satisfied now i can put it Ooh. this hand was kind of loose you see i almost overdo it but fortunately there is still plenty of space between the hands and it turned out to be pretty straight too Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'm very lucky. Otherwise, I would need to remove all the hands and set it again. Yeah, perfect. The alignment from each side. Good distance. And now the last hand. The most challenging one that lots of people are afraid. So many people are afraid of this tiny hand. Very difficult, right? It took me like half second. No, I'm kidding right now. I'm also really lucky just now. Usually it takes me not one second, but but two seconds. 
this time was faster. I'm gonna leave for you the links for these parts and if you're using the same set of hands as I do right now, please keep in mind that the minute hand is a bit loose and the second hand is pretty soft. So try to use the smallest diameter of the hand presser possible, otherwise it's really easy to bend it. It's not really a problem if you bend the hand, but it just you will just need some extra time to bend it back. Yep. And I still have to press it. I still have to press it harder, but if I press more, I'm gonna bend the hand. So what to do in this case? In this case, I'm gonna use just really something flat and wide like this one. Just like that, so that I apply pressure right in the center, not on the sides of the hand. And it's almost impossible to bend it, but it's pretty risky because it's easy to slip it and bend it completely. Just like that. I think I can put it a bit lower. No, it is absolutely perfect. You can see it doesn't get out of the chapter ring. Because if you leave the second hand too high, gonna touch the glass and the watch will stop. And then you're gonna wonder what happened? My movement is broken. But actually, nope. Just the second hand tip is too high. And from another side, also perfect. So the next part. I'm gonna put it back in the case. So before that, clean it properly, make sure there is no dust, whatever. And let's put it in the case first. Okay guys, it's almost ready. As you can see, it's already very beautiful. But the order was with the Cyclops. So make it as close to the original as possible. Looks pretty cool, isn't it? I've never done this before, so I'm gonna be really improvising right now. I've got this UV glue. You see it says UV glue. Yeah, for sure. And before using it, we need to completely clean the surface of the watch, of course, and the Cyclops itself to make sure there is nothing Okay, don't need to clean it whole day, <laughs> that's enough. And the Cyclops itself. As I understand, this is not a super glue. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard only when exposed to the UV light. In the sun it's gonna take longer time. And UV flashlight gonna make this process much much faster. It's not open yet, so I have to cut it. This is glue anyway, so I'm gonna put it here first. Just one drop of glue. And then... I'm just gonna dip the Cyclops. Just like that. I don't know about you, but to me it seems to be pretty straight. And now I suppose I have to use the flashlight. Perhaps it should take some time, a few minutes. You know, it's already sticks, I think, completely. Anyway, I'm gonna, gonna heat it up a bit longer. It's pretty cool what it does with the, the loom on the dial. Look, it turns so bright. 
Unfortunately, this dial is not super bright, cannot compare with original Seiko. There are not many options of this dial available. There are like limited options and um, blue, yellow, red and, and something, don't remember, maybe black, only four colors available. So yeah, you cannot choose the best loom for this kind. And you can see there is some glue on the top of the Cyclops. I think that's not a problem, I'm gonna remove it easily. Yeah, it, it feels... It feels ready! <laughs> I don't know, let's see. It feels ready and looks, looks straight as well, isn't it? Look. Yeah. Should be good. Okay, so right now I'm gonna try cleaning the, the remaining glue on the surface. Let's see how easy it is to clean it. So for this purpose I use nail polish remover. And I actually already cleaned it, but I forgot to, use, to turn on the camera. <laughs> but right now it looks very, very nice. It's really easy to clean, doesn't take much time. It looks fresh, beautiful and clean. Okay, so right now I'm gonna put it on the bracelet and show you the final result outside with better light. Okay guys, so here's the final result. It took me so much longer time than I expected. It's already very sunny. I started in the morning. <laughs> looks really really good and also this blue blue AR coating gives this watch even even better look beautiful yeah want to remind you this is not original Seiko this is him dollar based modification but check out the price, check out the price of this original, very, really rare Seiko monster. And the question is, should you pay 10 or even 20 times more for the watch? If you can get the same decent quality for much lower price, yeah try to change my mind. I still don't understand why people keep buying super expensive watches when there are so much cheaper alternatives. In most of cases, by the way, even better quality, if to talk about Seiko. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you decide to mod this one, you have the instruction right now. Have a great day and see you in the next episode.